Our journey begins more than 14,000 kilometers from the United Nations in Papua New Guinea. As we look at the Sustainable Development Goals, which aim to transform our world by 2030. The 17 goals were adopted at the UN General Assembly by 193 member states in 2015. The objective, produce a set of universal goals that meet urgent social, economic, and environmental challenges facing the world. What makes these goals different? Each goal is dependent on the other goals. These goals are universal, integrated, and transformative. The last goal focuses on the importance of partnership between the government, the UN, development partners, civil society, faith-based organizations, youth groups, communities, and the private sector. Despite the many challenges of life in Papua New Guinea, the government and people of PNG are making great efforts toward the SDGs. Progress will be made only if we work together. We begin with one woman working tirelessly to feed her family. Her name is Susan, and today Susan is in a field, tending to her crops as her husband fishes nearby in the ocean. For Susan, her four daughters, and husband, their crops are at risk as the sea level rise affects the salt level in the soil. This means less access to a variety of food and a greater risk of stunting for her daughters. Susan says she's seen a rise in the sea level and also in the sea temperature here. There are fewer fish, she says, there is no reliable transport infrastructure here either, so the family often skips going to health facilities, even though malaria is rampant. Children are often delivered at home without acknowledging the risk. It's like a simple plan, two, two to three hours. Making matters worse, diarrhea is common here, as proper sanitation practices are rare. No got toilet. Susan has only an eighth grade education. Secondary school is not really an option for her family, as there is no secondary school nearby. Another big concern for her, clean water. The encroaching sea is threatening their water supply with salt. For Susan and her family, she says, their big dream is simply surviving, which has become increasingly difficult. Moving to Anga province, we meet Benny Pundi, a subsistence farmer with two wives and six children. Health problems are common here because the nearest hospital is far away. Farmers here rely on rain, so their food production is very unstable. The current rain pattern has changed, and it's unpredictable, making it difficult to plant seeds at exactly the right time. They're limited to a few varieties of crops, so their children are often stunted. These same children must also walk great distances to school, and rarely attend beyond early primary. All of the children help work in the fields. There are no close markets to sell their produce, so everything they grow, they eat. They have no source of outside income. Benny's family uses a basic pit latrine and has no electricity or running water. The family relies on firewood cut from the nearby forest. As for the future, Benny wants only two things. I like him. I like him one plus cold now, one plus outside. I'm plus all me like him stuff. In general, plus plus. And finally, we move to the capital of Port Moresby and the Five Mile Settlement. My name is Dorothy Robert. My age is 39 and I have uh, six children. Dorothy runs a small food stand she sets up outside her house each morning. I made my barbecue, selling drinks, sausages, sometimes selling betel nuts. They have no garden, so they need to purchase all their food. 
Dorothy is the only person working, so the family is always suffering from a lack of cash. Her husband has other wives and many other children. He gives her no money. This means her children often skip meals, which leads to stunting. There is also no money to buy school supplies, school uniforms, and lunch. So some of the children don't attend school. In the settlement, everyone uses pit toilets and washing areas are in poor condition when they exist at all. And the water is cut off frequently. Violence against women is a serious issue here. A 2015 Overseas Development Institute article estimates that two in three women in Papua New Guinea have experienced gender-based violence in their lifetime. Papua New Guinea has the highest prevalence of gender-based violence in the Western Pacific region. Sadly, Dorothy too has experienced violence in her life. Domestic violence is very commonly in the settlement. Dorothy feels trapped by poverty. She has dreams, but worries they won't become reality unless her situation improves. I dream for my children is I want them to be educated to earn their own living. These are the stories of real people's lives in Papua New Guinea. The people know that they have rights and are resilient in the face of the adversity they face. Their lives are directly linked to the Sustainable Development Goals. The SDGs are about every single person's life and improving each life in a powerful way. Betterment of a nation starts with the betterment of one person's and one family's life. The SDGs are the milestone for 15 years. 15 years is an accumulation of days. When you live a life, you live a day. So each single day is important if we want a change. Time alone cannot bring us a change. We are the ones who can and must bring that change.